you, you, you're on this job. And, and, and you've been released from this job, and God's got something greater for you, but he can't give you something greater because you're still dependent on where you're at. Uh, maybe what it is is that you got friends there, or you got family there, or you know that the job's going to struggle because you're the only one that know how to do the job that you're doing. But how many of us understand they were doing it before you got there, and they'll learn how to do it when you go? Now, maybe the fact that we're staying there is because we want to set our own self back. How many blessings have been stored up that God wants to release, but he can't release? It because you still stuck in the very place that he's trying to remove you from. This gets good to me. I'm preaching to myself for a moment. Here it is. This woman immediately got up in verse 39 and she began to minister to them. She fed them. She brought she fed the ones that brought deliverance to her. Here's my question. How do you treat the carrier of God's word? How do you treat the word that God gave you? Do you take it and nonchalantly apply it to your life? Or do you take it and say, you know what, that word came straight from God. I got to apply this thing to my living. I don't know what my problem is, is with church folk especially. They will get a word. They will say that word was for me, but they will not apply that thing to their life. I don't understand you coming to church Sunday after Sunday. You get a good word. You get a shout. You get a praise. But then you have no application of the word that came for you. The word told you what to do. It was prophesied. Yeah. It was preached to you. It was sung in the praise and worship. But we still walk out of here and do the same thing that the word told us not to do. Let me let you in on a little secret. That is straight disrespect to God. We get mad when other folk disrespect us. But we don't care when we disrespect God. We will blatantly, no service going on, ain't got nothing to do, but we tired. We tired from work, and we won't come. Go home from work, skip church, go home from work, sleep, wake up still tired, but get up and go to work. Where is your loyalty at? Your loyalty should be to God first. Then to your job. Because here's a secret that a lot of people don't know. The same God that gave you the job is the same God that can take it away from you. <laughs> Ain't nothing deep about that. It's just simple. So here it is. Her attitude and mindset was right. She said, these people have taken away my illness. So I've got to serve them. God has delivered you from multiple things. You've got to serve him. Matter of fact, it's a whole saying out there that says, uh, I'd rather live my life like there is a God and die and find out that there isn't than to live my life like there isn't and die and find out that there is. Meaning, I don't want to risk it by not living my life serving God. Amen. Her mindset was right. How many of us have the right mindset when we enter into worship? My body hurt. So I'm coming into church with an attitude. Because my body's in pain. But guess what? The very person that can heal your body is right in the church. But because of your nasty attitude... He ain't going to heal you because your mindset ain't on worshiping him. I can testify. I come in here Sunday after Sunday, body racking with pain. I got a pain in my chest right now. But I'm still down here giving God my all because I know that if I give him my all, he can turn around and heal me before I leave this building. Amen. 
My mindset has to be right. Y'all see me up in here. I come on a Sunday face swirling up and everything, but I still give it my all. You may not even be able to understand a word coming out of my mouth, but I'm going to preach until I can't preach no more because of the fact that if I give God all of I can't sing, but I sure can preach. And if I give God all of me, I toot it my own horn. That's all right. If I give God all of me, then I know God will give me some of him. And if I have a part of Jesus, that's enough than anything that anybody else can give me. Your mindset has to be right. I'm mad at the pastor because he preached on my situation last week. So I'm coming in with an attitude. I'm still coming, but I'm going to have an attitude just to let him know I don't like it. So what? <laughs> that's, that's a Mario moment. So what if you don't like the pastor? The best thing you can do is come up in here with a word, a, a good attitude in your spirit, because he might just preach on your attitude that day. I'll give you an example. I'm going to tell you how spiritual I am sometimes. And, and, and I'm messing with Deacon and Pam about this. Me and Deacon and Pam was talking the other day, a, a couple weeks ago. And, and we had this conversation throughout the years. And, and every time that, that sometimes she comes to church and she's tired and stuff like that, those are the days I always grab her. I always use her. She brought somebody to church some weeks ago, and they said on the way here, uh, uh, Pam, I need your pastor to pray for me. And the very moment that she needed prayer is the very day that I grabbed her to pray. Why? Because of the fact that I understand attitudes and personalities. Not only am I a pastor, but I'm a psychology major too. And one thing I know is that I can sense when your spirit and when your attitude is off. And that means that if I sense that something's going on, the best way for you to come out of your situation is to give something unto God. So God, I know I'm coming up here. I know I'm doing an intercessory prayer, but I'm going to pray my way out of this. I may be going through in my body, but I'm going to pray my way out of this. I may be broke as a joke and everybody trying to joke on me, but I'm going to pray my way out of this because I know that if I begin to give unto God, God will give unto me. That's why it says give and it shall be given good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. When you begin to know that it ain't all about your money, but it's about your service to God, then God can in return bless you. Amen. This woman's attitude and mindset was right. They brought Jesus to me. So the least I can do is serve them. 